Hi everyone, welcome to your practice. Begin standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. You can have your feet more narrow or wider, but find a grounded place where you feel really grounded in your legs, really grounded in your feet, feeling firm on the earth like a mountain. As you close your eyes, place one hand over your navel and one hand over your heart, the center of your chest. And start to use your hands as anchors to feel into your breath. So as you inhale, feel the bottom hand fill and then the top hand fill. As you exhale, feel the top hand soften back and in, and then the bottom hand do the same. And let this be a way to feel into the pulse of your breath, but not just in a, a physical, literal way, but the deeper pulsation that your breath speaks to. And in yoga, this is called spanda. Spanda is universal pulsation, vibration, which occurs in everything and reverberates through everything. So this is an ongoing process in your own body and the breath is a way to be reminded of this pulsation. So take a few more moments to feel this, feeling the pulsation of inhale and exhale and see if that can take you deeper into yourself into the more subtle vibration of your body and of your being, of your energy in this form. As we move together today, continue to allow the breath to remind you of your own deeper meaning, that despite or regardless of what you're confronted with in life, there is the affirmation of your own vibration, of the subtlety of your being, of of that pulsation that speaks both of your individual experience, but also the greater peace, the greater kind of universal aspect. And you can let your practice be the meeting ground um, between those two, be the, the mingling point. On your next inhale, press down through your feet, sweep your arms wide and high, look up, watch your fingers touch. With soft knees, forward fold as you exhale, release the weight of your head. Inhale into your halfway lift, extend your heart forward. Exhale, bow and fold. Root down through your feet, inhale, rise back up, sweep high, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Long spine, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, use the whole breath. And use the whole exhale to fold, release. One more time, inhale, sweep up really high, stretch up out of the waist. And then use the whole breath to fold, no rush, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Pull the belly in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And then exhale, just step your left foot to the back of the mat. Easy, high lunge, left knee is lifted. We'll rock here a little bit, finding that pulsation in physical movement. So fingertips can be on the ground or you can bring your hands to two blocks or books. 
As you inhale, reach your chest forward. Take the rounding out of the upper back. Think of your cow pose, a little bit of arch through the spine. On your next exhale, start to push into your front foot, glide the hips back any amount, and bow in over your front leg. Pull the ribs in to find space between front body and your leg. Good. Inhale, rock forward, reach the sternum forward, pull the shoulders down the back. And then exhale, glide back, bow, and side. Two more times. Inhale, wave forward, reach the chest forward. Exhale, glide back, bow in, release your gaze down. Inhale, reach the chest forward. And then place your hands, step back to your down dog pose. As you inhale, rock forward to your high plank, top of a push-up pause. Press the floor away so the arms are strong and straight. The shoulder blades wrap around to the sides of the ribs. But at the same time, lengthen your sternum forward so your collarbones are wide. Keep that action, shift forward onto your fingertips, and you can always drop your knees or full Chaturanga Dandasana as you exhale. Lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, lift up Cobra Pose. Cobra Pose, bend the elbows, melt the heart forward, pull the shoulders down away from the ears and wrap them back. Good. Inhale to fill up across your chest. And as you exhale, push back to your down dog pose. Inhale, slowly sweep your right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, think knee to nose. Step your right foot to your right thumb and pause back in your high lunge. Reach your chest forward as you inhale long through the front of your spine. And then exhale, step the left foot next to the right and just easy fold. Lift halfway as you inhale. Refold as you exhale. Press down into the earth through your feet as you rise up, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold, right back down. Inhale into your halfway lift. And then exhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Find a really long stance. So your limbs are long. You're reaching through the bones of your legs, of your back leg especially. Feet are rooted. As you inhale, reach your chest forward. Pull your fingertips back so that your shoulders draw away from your ears. And then start to glide the hips back, bow over your front leg. Inhale, wave forward. And exhale, wave back. Really move on the rhythm of your breath. So pull a long inhale into your body as you rock forward. And then gradually let the breath stream out as you glide back and fold in. Last time, inhale, stretch forward. And then place your hands. Step back right to your high plank this time. Shoulders stack over wrists. You're pushing your hands down through the ground. But at the same time, reaching the sternum forward. Pull up the front of your thighs as you rock forward onto tippy toes. And then elbows go back, head and chest go forward as you lower for chaturanga. This time you can inhale into your cobra again or upward facing dog. Either way, pull your hands back toward your hips to reach the chest forward. Gently pull the low belly in and up to lengthen your lower back. Good, and then push the floor away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Find three breaths here. Last inhale, press the floor away, stretch your hips up and back. Exhale, pull your front body toward your back body. Find strength through your midsection, your core. And then this time, sweep your right leg up and back. Exhale, step right foot to right thumb. Press down strongly through your feet to rise into your crescent warrior. Arms will reach up for a moment. Pull your feet toward one another. 
to strengthen the legs and hug the outer right hip back and in. And then interlace your hands and press your palms straight forward in front of you so your arms are parallel to the mat. As you press the palms forward, round a little bit through your upper body. You press the palms forward, the shoulders will protract and this will help pull your front ribs in. So kind of hinge your ribs back and then notice how that helps lengthen your tailbone down and lift your pubic bone up. Keep this action as you lower the left knee all the way down to the mat, and then you can unclasp your hands and reach your arms up toward the sky, but keep that same feeling of front ribs drawing in, tailbone lengthening down. And then from there, you can start to lean your upper body back into a little back bend, reaching up as you inhale, and as you exhale, arch from the back of your heart. Finding a few more rounds of breath here. Next exhale, release your hands to the mat. Step back to your downward facing dog. As you inhale, rock forward to your high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower all the way to the belly. Sweep the arms by your side, rest your forehead for a moment, and we'll find Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. With legs drawn together, so zip up your legs. Hug the inner heels together, hug the big toe ball mounds together. Keep the legs energized as you lift everything up, legs lift, arms lift chest lifts. Reach your fingers back toward your toes. Reach your toes back behind you. Find length as you lift. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale all the way back to your down dog. Take a moment here between sides, recenter, find that pulsation again of your breath. Let it go deeper. Inhale your left leg high. Strong exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb. Press down and forward through your feet and rise up into your crescent pose. And set your foundation so the left foot presses down and forward just for a moment, and then press into your back big toe really strongly so the back leg is energized. Plug the left thigh bone back into the hip socket. And then interlace your hands, press them forward in front of you as you find a little bit of a cat back through your spine. The front ribs pull in. And you should feel, hopefully, a little bit more sensation through the front of your back thigh, the front of your right thigh, as you do that. Because the as the pubic bone lifts, we find a little bit more length through the right psoas. So play with that a little bit. And then keep all of those actions and just slowly lower the right knee down to the mat. So you're in your low lunge. Okay, keep the feeling of ribs back, tailbone down as you sweep your arms up toward the sky. And then from the back of your heart, lift up, find length. As you exhale, press the shoulder blades forward into the back of the heart to open the chest. So we want to think about keeping length through the lower back, finding our harmonious arch through the spine. One more inhale, lift up. And exhale, hands to the mat, step back to your downward facing dog. Look forward to your hands, grip the mat with your fingertips, bend your knees deeply, and then step or hop to the front of your mat. As you inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, stretch nice and tall as you root down through your feet. Exhale, lead with your chest, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Finding again your high lunge and make sure to find a long stance. So there's space between your feet and then you'll bring both of your hands inside of your right foot. You may need a block or a book or a stack of books for this, but you'll spin your left heel down toward the ground, finding your warrior two through your feet, but you'll keep your hands inside of your right foot. And then bring your right hand inside of your right foot or to a block. Make sure your right arm is really flush against the inside of your right leg. And, and then start to spin your navel up toward the sky. Reach your left arm high for your side angle pose, Parjva Konasana. Use the leverage of your right arm to press slightly wide into your right leg. So you stretch the inner thigh and the inner hip. As you wrap your right seat under, navel spins toward the sky. Front ribs slightly draw in to keep the spaciousness through the back body. Good. Reach up high through left fingertips. Inhale. Hold for the exhale. Root into the outer edge of your left foot. Nice and strong. Good. And then press down through your feet. Rise through warrior two to a reverse warrior. Left hand to left thigh. Right arm up alongside your right ear. Stretch back, breathe wide into your right side rib cage. And then exhale your hands to the mat, step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, way forward, high plank. Come into your fingertips, bend at the elbows, lower chaturanga, keep hugging your low belly in. Cobra or upward facing dog, press straight down into the floor as you wrap your shoulders back. And then press down and forward through your hands to glide to your down dog. Exhale. Right away, look forward, bend the knees. Step or float to your hands. Find a halfway lift as you inhale. And fold as you exhale. Slow rise as you inhale. Use the entire inhalation to lift up. And float back down into your forward fold. Exhale. Inhale to your halfway lift. And then step your right foot to the back of the mat. Same thing. First find a long stance, high lunge. Left knee over left ankle. You can always wiggle your right toes back a little bit more to find length. And then walk both hands inside of your left foot. Spin your right heel down toward the ground, finding your warrior two in the back foot. Dig into the knife edge of your right foot, and then place your left hand inside of your left foot to the floor or to a block. Good. Make sure your left elbow is right is kissing your inner left knee, and push a, out a little bit into the leg. Not forcefully, but just a little bit to find a stretch through the left groin, left inner thigh. As you inhale, stretch your right arm up toward the sky. Spin your navel up, but pull your front body in. So front body and back body are both spacious. Pin your right shoulder back as you gaze high. And then use your breath to really support and energize the pose. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, contract and engage. One more breath here. Deep inhale. Complete exhale. Press down through your feet. Rise up through warrior two all the way to reverse. Right hand to right leg or you can take a half bind. Left arm sweeps by the ear as you reach toward the back of the room. Breathe wide into your left side ribs as you keep the lunge. Good, and then cartwheel the hands all the way to the mat. Take your last vinyasa or skip it. 
We'll meet in downward facing dog. And then we'll come through a child's pose for just a few breaths to come back into that grounded state. So knees can be wide, knees can be together, arms can extend forward or sweep by your side. Let the forehead anchor into your mat and see if you can yield to gravity and let the weight of your body get heavy toward the ground. Feel the inhale travel into the back of the, of the lungs as the back body lifts and expands. And let the exhale settle back toward the front body as the front body softens. Come back up onto your shins, walk your hands back towards you. You can sit on your shins or come into any comfortable seat. Coming back to the same quality as we started with, we'll close the eyes, bring one hand to the chest, one hand to the belly. Notice what this moment feels like after activity, after effort, after engaging your experience and kind of conjuring up some more energy and more heat in the body. What does it feel like to have your hands now placed where they are? And simply breathe. Inhaling to fill first the bottom hand and then the top, two-part breath. Exhale softens top hand and then bottom hand. And allow yourself to rest here, to settle here, to root into this moment right now. Let yourself be in conversation with spanda, with universal pulsation. Notice how this pulsation is both within you and yet greater than you at the same time in the same space. And be with your breath as long as you can. Stay here. Or take time to rest in Shavasana. And thank you so much for practicing. Namaste.